Then we have the concept also, a new interesting concept that is perpetuity. Now, when we are talking about perpetuity, as the name suggests, it's a perpetual or continuous payment. This is typically taking place, suppose you want some elderly person in your family to get some fixed amount of money. So you are depositing fixed amount of money in the bank. So then in that case, you deposit a fixed amount of money, say 100,000 rupees are deposit in the bank and the bank pays an annual interest of 10%. So at the end of first year, he is going, so he is your deposit, suppose 10,000. So you're going to get 100, 1 lakh will come as interest for him. But again, at the end of the second year, the amount, principal amount still remains the same. So again, it you will get 10,000 by 0 0.1, that is 1 lakh at the end of the again second year so at the end of each year he is going to get 100,000 so the interest rate is fixed and the amount that you deposited is fixed and hence accordingly every year you get a fixed amount of value so if you look at it uh, it is going to be this way you have the present value is going to be r upon i into 1 plus i raised to 1 minus 1 plus i raised to n. Now if you see we are looking at perpetual that means n has is approaching infinity in such a case if you look at it this way. So if n is approaching infinity this whole thing 1 upon 1 i raised to n will approach 0. So in that case p is equal to r by i will just become 1 minus 0 or it will be approximately or quite close to r upon i. So whatever is the amount you deposit, the present value is going to be just whatever is the installment divided by i. So hence we get accordingly the value of a perpetuity or the value that you are going to get a fixed amount every year till for a long period that is till the end you keep getting that fixed amount so you get it as perpetuity and it's typically used for pensions, fixed amount of pension that is being given, some amount of your money is put in the bank. Hence, annual amount keeps on coming to you on a regular basis. So, hence P is equal to R upon I. In case of annuity paid in advance, obviously you will find R upon I plus R because the first installment will not incur any kind of an interest. Hence, so for example, if you say a person desires to create a fund to be invested at 10% compound interest per annum to provide for a price of 300 every year. So in that case, how much he has to deposit? So the present value is R. So P is going to be, he is depositing 300. So it's going to be 300 upon 0 0.1, which is into, if you can even use a present value formula, but then n is approaching infinity so eventually it will just be 300 by 0 0.1 that is 3000 rupees so that means v that is going to be v is equal to a by f which is what we are calling as p so v is going to be 3000 that is the present value that you need to deposit so that you can provide 300 rupees per year is going to be 3000 rupees so this is the correct answer that is 3000 right Okay.